Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Eva. <laughs> okay, it's it's already Friday. It's already Friday. It's the weekend again. Huh? In what? The second half of October already. October is ending, <laughs> nearing. Okay. But today is Friday and we meditate now on what mystery? Sorrowful. The sorrowful mysteries. And where are we on the sorrowful mysteries? The fourth. The fourth mystery is the. What's the fourth mystery? The carrying of the cross. Okay. So what can we imagine and contemplate and think about when we pray the fourth mystery? Uh, sorrowful mystery so we can picture in our minds that our Lord uh, was standing before Pilate right and the whole crowd of the Jews and the Pharisees and the scribes and everybody accusing him of crimes he did not commit and then clamoring crucifige eum crucifige eum crucify him crucify him they were all shouting and Pilate they didn't know what to do anymore but you know he was convinced that Jesus had does not deserve death yet he caves in he gives in to the clamor of the crowds Pilate was not a very courageous guy after all he couldn't stand up for the truth he wanted to be popular he wanted to avoid ruffling feathers <laughs> So he was not very brave to stand up for the truth. In fact, he had questioned the truth, right? And because of that, well, he sent Jesus off to be crucified, to carry his cross. And Jesus, the meek and humble heart that Jesus was, just quietly, embraced that cross and started his march to the Mount of Calvary where he was going to meet his eventual crucifixion. So that cross, what does it stand for? Okay, for the Jews, during that time, the cross was a symbol of shame. The cross was a symbol of a hardened criminal that needed to be put to death in the most shameful way. And only those who were really very bad in, according to Jewish and Roman society then, were the ones who were subjected to that kind of painful, excruciating, shameful kind of death, the crucifixion. But there you have our sinless Lord, He who was meek as a lamb before its shears. He who was meek and humble of heart. What did He do? He took His cross, carried it squarely on His shoulders, without a whimper of complaint and patiently but courageously marched along the streets of Jerusalem towards the Mount of Calvary also known as the place of the skulls where he would meet his death. So while, it's, while, while the cross is a symbol of execution, is a, a symbol of shame for people of that time, we Catholics now look at the cross at a very, very different light. Okay? We understand that the cross for us is not a shameful thing. It is not a burdensome 
uh, weight to carry. It is not a symbol of shame. Rather, for a Catholic who understands his faith, the cross is a symbol of three things. Okay, listen to this. The cross is a symbol of three things. It's a symbol of unity. It's a symbol of salvation. And it is a symbol of victory. Okay? Unity, salvation, and victory. Unity. Why unity? Because every time that we feel burdened, we're often told, we're oftentimes told, you know, embrace your cross. Learn to embrace your cross. And when you embrace your cross, what are you doing? You are actually participating in the salvific mission of Jesus. You are uniting your sufferings to that of Jesus Christ. You are helping Jesus carry his cross by you carrying the little burdens that our Lord has deigned to share with you. When we suffer things in this life, it is not because we are just being given some trouble to, uh, to go through. Right? If we look at our, our sufferings and our burdens with a supernatural perspective, we ought to see that behind these difficulties and these sufferings is Jesus. This is Jesus' cross that he is sharing with us in the same manner that he shared that cross with the unsuspecting traveler Simon of Cyrene right who was just passing by who happened to just be traveling and passing by and witnessing this scene and all of a sudden he is tasked to help Jesus carry his cross many times we are like that many times we travel through this world we travel through life not expecting that we would encounter difficulties. We would encounter challenges in our lives. Well, we have to understand and recognize that those challenges that we didn't bring upon ourselves, those challenges are those times when Jesus calls us to unite ourselves to his cross, to help him carry his cross. That little portion of the cross that he gives to you is that particular suffering you met along the way in this journey of life. That is why the cross is a symbol of unity. It unites us to Christ. It unites us to Jesus. Then it is a symbol of salvation because the cross was the instrument. The, the cross was the throne upon which Christ laid down his life. The cross was the, was the very means by which Christ saved us from our sins. Okay? The cross is the very means by which He forgave us. He erased all of our debt of sin. Not only those who came before us, but even down to the last man, the last baby, the last child who will ever be born on earth. Everybody benefited and merited from that cross the symbol of our salvation it is through that cross that we obtained forgiveness from original sin and from all other sins that we might commit in this life our salvation is there in that cross is anchored on that cross it was wrought by that cross of Jesus Christ then that cross is also a symbol of victory. Okay? It is also a symbol of victory. Because it is through the death on the cross that Jesus later on resurrected. The cross was the door to the resurrection. The cross was the door to heaven. And heaven is the home of the victors. Heaven is the home of champions. Who are these victors? Who are these champions? The saints. Who, remember, as we pray in the creed, we pray that our Lord descended into hell, right? After he died. He went down into hell. Well, what hell is that? That's not the hell fire of, 
of deprivation uh, where the devils are. But that was the the state of limbo where the se where the souls, the 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 good souls who were all waiting for the gates of heaven to be opened, were were waiting. That was the waiting room, the anteroom for heaven. That was where our Lord descended into after he died on the cross in order to announce to them that the gates of heaven are now open for them. And that is why the cross is a symbol of that victory, the symbol of our uh, sanctity, the symbol and the door that leads us to heaven. Okay? And so, you know, this is the way I would encourage you to think about the fourth commandment this is the way I, I would I would sorry the fourth commandment the fourth sorrowful mystery thank you Joe eh? the fourth sorrowful mystery carrying of the cross eh? and as a resolution let us let us try to resolve that every time we encounter difficulties in life or during the day during our everyday uh, journey in this life if we encounter uh, difficulties if we if we encounter struggles if we encounter people who don't agree with us if we encounter um, uh, conflicts if we encounter uh, uh, you know the, the, the usual uh, burdens so-called burdens and the difficulties of going through our day and, and our work and and everything else let's remember the cross let's remember that this is Jesus inviting us to participate in carrying his cross participate in the mission that he has come on earth uh, for in the mission that he has invited us to be part of the mission of carrying that cross the mission of carrying the symbol of unity salvation and victory and don't forget that if you carry the cross very well guess guess who is accompanying you along the way Guess who is always there at a distance, but always accompanying you along the way? Who is that? Santa. Huh? Mary. Who? Mary. Our Lady. See? Our Lady. Our Lady is always there. Our Lady went through that whole nine yards of carrying the cross with Jesus. Because you can just imagine the agony, the anguish, the pain of a mother seeing her own son being punished for some things he did not commit. His own son, her own son, going through all of this pain and agony and, and terrible uh, 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 mutilations of his flesh by the weeping and, and carrying of that cross. You can just imagine the pain and the agony of, of, our, of our lady. And at one point, she made, it, she made it a point to really, you know, meet him when he, when he fell. And there to console him and to tell him, Son, I am here. I'm here with you. Well, Our Lady will do the same thing for us. Our Lady will do the same thing for us. Every time we have struggles to go through in life, when we feel heavy, when we feel the weight of the cross, Our Lady is always there. But she may be following at a distance, but she is there. So just like our Lord, let us once in a while glance around and say, Where is my mother? Where is my mother? Where is my lady? Okay? She will be there for us if we learn to call upon her. And that cross will be a sweeter cross to carry. That cross will be a sweet burden to bear because our lady is going to be beside us okay that's it for us have a good day everybody have a good weekend ahead of you okay we will see you next week maybe what's that Jim? what's that nothing bye bye, bye. bye everybody.